Good day. Please follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. In this video tutorial, I will teach you about the differential calculus wherein we will talk about the chain rule for differentiation and in this chain rule, we will use this given formula. So, the formula of chain rule for differentiation is let x, y is equal to f of u, wherein u is equal to f of x. So, we will use the formula of chain rule as derivative of y with respect to x or dy over dx equals dy over du times du over dx. So, let's have the first example. Let us use this given formula for us to find the derivative of y with respect to x. So, first example, find dy over dx if y is equal to 4u squared and u is equal to x squared plus 12x. So, for us to find the derivative of y with respect to x, we will have first to find the derivative of y and the derivative of u. So, isulat natin ang y equals 4u squared at u equals x squared plus 12. Simulan natin sa paghahanap ng derivative of y given the 4u squared. So, kapag, uh, since meron tayong nakalagay dito na exponent, let us use uh, or recall the formulas of basic uh, differential or differentiation. So, since my exponent ang 4u dito, so let us use the power rule. Since na nakalagay na power, sa power rule ay u raised to n wherein ang n natin sa given ay 2 at ang u ay, ay ang 4u. So, let us use the power rule. So, this will be dy over du equals 4u squared. So, n here will be 2. So, 2 times 4u raised to 2 minus 1 times the derivative of u with respect to x. Pero dahil wala tayong given na x dito, Ibig sabihin, hindi natin multiply ang derivative ng u with respect to x. So, let us now simplify this. So, this will be 8u because 2 times 4 is 8 and 2 minus 1 of the exponent will be 1. So, naging u na lang. And then next, let us now find the derivative of u given the x squared plus 12x. So, since meron tayong dalawang term or two terms, so hanapin natin ang derivative ng x squared at ang derivative ng 12x. So, magiging ang derivative ng x squared since may exponent, gamitin ulit natin ang power rule. And then, since meron na tayong with respect to x, so hahanapin na natin ang derivative ng x. So, x squared will be 2x raised to 2 minus 1 times the derivative of x with respect to x. Dahil, uh, meron tayong x dito sa x squared. And then, plus, since plus ito, plus 12x. So, let us find the derivative of 12x with respect to x. So, let us now simplify. This will be 2x squared raised to 2 minus 1 times. Ang derivative ng x po dito sa rule number 3 will be 1. So, that will be multiplied by 1. Plus, the derivative of 12x or ng constant and variable will be the constant only. So, the derivative of 12x is 12. Okay, let us now simplify. So, the final answer will be, for u, will be 2x plus 12 because two time, uh, 2x raised to 2 minus 1 will be 1. And then, 2 times 1 is 2. So, gamitin na natin ang 8u at ang 2x plus 12 para mahanap natin ang derivative ng y with respect to x. Okay, so ang gagawin natin is to multiply 8u and 2x plus 12. Pero hindi natin may i-multiply ang u sa x. So let us substitute the value of u dun sa 8u. So since meron tayong given na u, which is yung x squared plus 12, i-substitute natin yung x squared plus 12x sa u. Kaya magiging 8 times x squared plus 12x times 2x plus 12. Ito yung 2x plus, uh, plus 12 natin. So, kinopya lang natin. 
or pinagtabi-tabi lang natin using the open and close parentheses na nagsas, uh, nagre-represent sa multiplication. Pwedeng iyan na yung final answer or pwede natin i-multiply using the distributive property ang 8 sa so 2x plus 12. Kaya magiging 16x plus 96 times the quantity of x squared plus 12x. Because 8 times 2x is 16x and 8 times positive 12 is positive 96. And that is the final answer. Pero, pwede nating hanapin ang derivative of y with respect to x using the shortcut method. So, ulitin natin yung given. We have y is equal to 4u squared and u is equal to x squared plus 12x. Kanina ang ginawa natin, hinanap natin ang derivative ng y at ang derivative ng u at saka natin pinagsama yung nakuha nating sagot sa dalawa. So, ito yung shortcut method kung paano natin gagawin. So, we have the given y is equal to 4u squared. And then, since meron tayong given ng u, which is yung x squared plus 12x, pwede natin i-substitute ang two terms na ito sa mismong u dito. Kaya magiging y equals 4 times the quantity of x squared plus 12x squared. Again, sinubstitute natin yung value ng u na x squared plus 12x sa u dito. Kaya naging ganito yung sagot and then kinopya lang natin yung 4 at yung exponent na 2. Yung exponent na 2 kailangan nandun siya sa labas ng open and close parentheses dahil kapag ito ay nasa loob o nasa taas ng x ng 12x dito, ibig sabihin hindi natin may i-distribute ang squared na ito sa dalawang terms. So kailangan po nandun siya sa labas ng uh, quantity or ng open and close parenthesis. Uh, parenthesis. So, ngayon, uh, since na-substitute na natin ang value ng u, let us now use this formula uh, for the calculus. So, since meron ulit na exponent dito, so gamitin natin yung power rule wherein ang u ay given at ang n ay given then which is u2. So, let us now proceed. So, magiging dy over dx, since ito yung hinahanap natin, let us find the derivative of y with respect to x. Since may x na tayo, so ito na yung, uh, yung mismong gagamitin natin sa solution. So, magiging 2 times 4. Paano naging 2 times 4? Ang formula po ng power rule ay nu or n times u, kaya yung n natin ay 2, so kaya naging 2 times 4 times the quantity of x squared plus 12x raised to 2 minus 1. Again, ang formula po ta ng ating power rule ay merong two, uh, n minus 1 sa exponent. Okay, times the derivative of u with respect to x. So, hahanapin natin yung derivative ng u na kung saan yung u natin ay yung x squared plus 12x. So, ayan yung magiging solution. So, let us now simplify. Kaya magiging 8 times the quantity of x squared plus 12x. Paano naging 8 ito? Okay, 2 times 4 is 8. And then, kinopya natin yung nasa loob ng open and close parentheses. And then, since ang 2 minus 1 ay 1, so hindi na natin kailangan pang maglagay ng exponent dito. And then, multiplied it using the dot or open and close parentheses. Uh, tulad lang yun, since parehong uh, multiplication symbol. And then, ang derivative ng x squared is 2x. Dahil ginamitan natin ng power rule. And then, ang derivative naman ng positive 12x or ng plus 12x ay plus 12. And then, let us now uh, apply the distributive property. So, let us multiply 8 to 2x plus 12. Therefore, the final answer will be 16x plus 96 times the quantity of x squared plus 12x na nakuha din natin kanina. So, alin man dyan sa solution na gagawin nyo ay tulad lang ang kalalabasan. Pero kung mas madadali ang kayo dito sa pagsasubstitute muna ng u, uh, iyon yung gawin nyo para uh, mas madali sa inyo at hindi kayo malito sa solution. So let's have another example. Let us use again this formula for the chain rule. Okay, find dy over dx if y is equal to u squared plus 4 and u is equal to 1 minus x cubed. Okay, so gamitin natin yung shortcut method na kung saan isa-substitute natin yung value ng u sa y equals o sa equation ng y. 
So, magiging y equals u squared plus 4. Palitan natin ang variable na u dito ng 1 minus x cubed. Kaya magiging ganyan yung kalalabos, uh, kalalabasan. Again, yung 2 natin or yung exponent ng u ay dapat na nasa labas ng parentheses. Dahil kapag inilagay natin yung sa loob, hindi siya madidistribute sa 1, kundi sa x cubed lang. So, ganyan yung kalalabasan ng ating equation. And then, hanapin na natin ang dy over dx using this formula. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang 1 minus x cubed quantity squared ay may exponent na 2. So, gamitin natin dito ang power rule. And then, sa plus 4 naman, since ito ay constant, gamitin natin ang constant rule. Na kung saan, kahit anong constant o number, palagi po silang may derivative na 0. So, ganito yung magiging solution. dy over dx equals 2, na kung saan iyon yung n natin, n times u, at ang u naman natin ay 1 minus x cubed. Quantity raised to 2 minus 1. Again, yung n natin ay 2, kaya naging 2 minus 1. Times derivative of u with respect to x. So, hanapin natin ang derivative ng u or derivative ng 1 minus x cubed. And then, i-plus na natin yung derivative ng 4 which is 0. So, let us now simplify. Since ang exponent na 2 minus 1 ay may sagot na 1. So, ganito na lang yung isusulat natin. Hindi na natin kailangan pa maglagay ng 1 dito. And then, ang derivative ng 1 ay 0. Or pwede i-cancel na lang natin yan. And then, ang derivative naman ng negative x cubed ay negative 3x squared. Ginamitan din yon ng power rule. And then, let us just copy plus 0. Next is to multiply 2 sa negative 3x squared. So, this will be negative 6x uh, squared times the quantity of 1 minus x cubed. Again, we multiply natin ng 2 sa negative 3x squared, kaya naging negative 6x squared. At iyon na yung final answer. Pero kung gusto nyong i-multiply pa ang negative 6x squared sa 1 at sa negative x cubed, pwede din yon at tulad lang silang tamang sagot. So, let's have another example. Find dy over dx if y is equal to square root of u and u is equal to square root of x. So, dito, kung mapapansin nyo, meron na tayong mga square root or hahanapin natin yung derivative ng y na kung saan ang given natin ay square root of u. So, again, gawin natin yung uh, shortcut method. Let us now rewrite y equals square root of u and then yung u ay palitan natin ng square root of x since iyon yung value ng u. So, magiging y equals square root of square root of x. So, kung mapapansin nyo, nagdoble nyo yung square root natin. Bakit? Hinanap natin o pinalitan natin ang u dito ng square root of x. So, hindi natin naalisin yung isang square root dahil iyon yung magiging value ng y o magiging derivative ng y. Okay, so let us this, uh, use this formula. May square root symbol, ibig sabihin gagamitin natin yung square root rule. Na kung saan ang formula niya ay 1 over 2 square root of u times du over dx. So let us now have the solution. Okay, dy over dx equals 1. So dan natin yung formula. 1 over 2 and then square root of square root of x times Ahanapin natin yung derivative ng u or derivative ng square root of x with respect to x. Okay, next is to simplify. So, kinopya lang natin yung 1 over 2 square root of uh, square root of x times ahanapin natin yung uh, derivative ng square root of x. So, ganito yung kalalabasan. Since ang uh, kinopya lang natin ito ulit. So, since ang Derivative ng square root of x using this formula is 1 over 2 square root of x. Paano naging isang, isang square root na lang? Ito ay dahil isang square root na lang yung nakalagay dito sa x. So, kinopya lang natin ito. And then, yung u dito ay pinalitan natin ng x times 1. Paano naging times 1? Ang derivative ng u natin o ang derivative ng x natin is 1 using the identity function rule. Okay, so ito na yung ating resulting equation. So, let us now again simplify. Okay, 1 over 2 x. So, kapag may nakita kayong dalawang square root, iyon po ay 1 fourth. 
kapag naman isang square root ang equivalent po noon ay 1 half. Again, kapag dalawang square root symbol, iyon po ay 1 fourth and then kapag isang square root lamang, iyon po ay 1 half. Okay, ginawa nating fraction ang exponent ng x para mas madali nating ma-solve or mahanap ang derivative ng y with respect to x. So, ang 1 over 2 square root of square root of x ay naging 1 over 2 x raised to 1 fourth times, ito naman ay naging 1 over 2 x raised to 1 half and then multiplied it by 1. Kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng exponent, ay ia-add lang natin ang dalawang exponent. So, dito, imumultiply natin yung 2 sa 2, x sa x, or 2x sa 2x, and then ia-add natin yung 1 fourth sa 1 half, kaya magiging 1 over, paano naging 1 pa rin yung uh, numerator? Ito ay dahil 1 times 1 is 1. And then, 2x times 2x is 4x. Kopyahin natin yung variable na x. And then, 1 fourth plus 1 half is 2, 2 plus 4 over 8. Dahil ang LCD ng 4 at 2 ay 8. And then, in-apply natin yung solution, kaya naging 2 plus 4. So, ipakita natin kung paano na, uh, makukuha yung exponent. So, since tulad na sila ng denominator, o yung 2 at 4 ay may denominator na na 8, so, i-add na natin. So, magiging 1 over 4x raised to 6 over 8. Pero, yung 6 over 8 ay may lowest term pa or kaya silang i-divide sa 2. Therefore, the final answer is 1 over 4x raised to 3 fourths. And that is the derivative of the given functions. Okay, so i-summarize na natin ang tungkol sa formula of chain rule for differentiation. So, for the chain rule, we will use or the given or y equals f of u at doon naman sa u, substitute natin yung value ng u or yung f of x. And then, we will use the formula dy over dx equals dy over du times du over dx. So, dalawa yung pwede nyong gawing solutions or pwede kayong pumili sa solutions. Yung una, hahanapin nyo ang derivative ng y and then, hahanapin yung derivative ng u, tapos tsaka sila imumultiply. Or, pwede nyo gawin, isubstitute nyo yung value ng u doon sa equation ng y, and then, tsaka nyo hahanapin yung derivative of y with respect to x. Sana ay nakatulong ang video ko na ito tungkol sa differential calculus or involving the chain rule. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!